today I'm in the Big Island. I'm here for doing a pop-up restaurant. We have a restaurant tour who uh, travel around uh, America. For a chef, it's good for me to be here and just experience a different lifestyle and to go in the water and to learn how the fish live, what's going to the sea, what can I get from the sea, what can I do with that. I'm really looking forward to spend time with some world champion surfer. You know, they're going to take me out, see the way they live, because cooking is all about inspiration. I don't get inspiration just to be in my kitchen in Los Angeles. My name is Mark Healy, I'm from Oahu, Hawaii, and my profession is big wave surfing. And Mark Healy, you know what I hear about him, I mean, crazy guys. I don't get me wrong, they're good crazy guys, but the guy is nuts a little, huh? Reef McIntosh is a great friend of mine that I actually lived with for a couple years at the Quicksilver House. Reef's probably one of the most natural surfers at Pipeline. Just cruises, he's so calm, cool, and collective in heavy waves. And I hear so good cook too, so you know, I hope he's going to teach me some secret. Steph Gilmore is one of the most progressive female surfers in the world right now. My name is Stephanie Gilmore, I'm 24 years old. I am a professional surfer and I'm from the Gold Coast in Australia. Aussie girls, man. Aussie girls are rugged. They can hang with the boys. <laughs> My grandfather was a French chef, and um, so yeah, food is definitely on the on the list of things that I love to learn about. Ludo was uh, he was a really cool guy, and I was excited to see how enthusiastic he was about surfing and kind of taking inspiration from what surrounds him and the activities he he does. So today what we're going to do, we are going trolling, you know, try to find some fish. Ready to go battle the wind, try to catch some fish? The ocean, I mean, I don't know much about that. And I hope we need to get some good idea or good fish to cook. Chef Ludo, he's actually coming out of his comfort zone and trying something new. It, it was cool to see, it's very genuine. Pull this in, this is a big one. Wow. This is a nice crab. Delicious eat, pull him right up. Oh, yeah, come here, sir. Let me see a crab like this. What's the name of this crab? It's a, called a corner crab. We went for a little sightseeing tour down the coast. Steph got to go do a rock jump, and then I went and collected opihi off the rocks while they were doing that. And yeah, that was a lot of fun. I never experienced the real life with surfers. A lot of people don't know them, you know, how they live every day, you know, they play, you know, but hard. The boat was really rocky, actually, and everyone was starting to feel it towards the end there, but <laughs> Chef was. <laughs> Chef was kind of like, okay, this is a good, a good fishing experience, but maybe not for me. I'll just stick to the kitchen. <laughs> Plan B, we put Mark in the water. Plus two, you know, super fishing. I mean, that's scary. I mean, it's not super fishing where you have, you know, two or three foot of water. No, we are going deep, you know, 50 foot of water. It's crazy. Surfing and spear fishing were equal parts for me growing up. The feeling of being underwater is one of the most relaxing feelings that I can have. It, it evens me out. You know, I have the surfing side, which is like active and a lot of adrenaline, and free diving really is what kind of balances it out for me. It's crazy. The guys are very, very, very intense. Whenever I come to the Big Island to catch fish, it's like a 24 hour a day thing. You just go on, go on, go on until basically the wheels fall off and you got a lot of good food. So we got a Hawaiian spiny lobster here and a 7 Eleven crab here. In a mainland, it's all about farm to table. Here, it's ocean to table. It's just amazing. He dives down and gets dinner. I mean, that's an, that's an art, but, you know, seriously. How's our fire looking? Reef set up a little fire. We've already collected some kiawe wood. Kiawe wood? Kind of like a hickory, like cowboys would use. But well, it's like the Hawaiian version, so it's got a lot of flavor, and it burns slow and long. Well, thanks to Mark, you got some delicious local fish. Can't get any more fresh than that. So you got that chili pepper water. Uh -huh. So you just I mean, the water if with you chili. don't mind spice. Ready? It's ready. Oh, it's amazing. It tastes like he caught it like five minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> it's kicking down your throat. Yeah. I like to eat with my finger. But I think it's very important when you eat to feel the, the texture too of the with your hand. Like feel it, taste yeah, it. Yeah, just yeah. another sense of eating, right? No, I think it's pretty cool to take it like this, you know. 
I love eating fish off the grill like that, to where it's cooking and, and you start eating it and it's still raw in the middle, so you get down to where it starts getting raw and then you flip it and let it cook. So you're always getting the fish just cooked right. So what's the name of this fish again, Ma? Omilu. Omilu? How long did it take you to catch this guy? Yeah. Including the first glance, the look of love at the fish. <laughs> I was down for like a minute and I was watching the fish in the distance and I wanted to see it and there's that guy with another one, same size, that just went right over my back, over my head, and I just pulled my gun and like rolled over on the bottom on my back, shot up at it, and it just went nuts and got tangled. But to me, this fish tastes better than 70% of fish that I eat in restaurants. And it's so simple. But then, the other 30% to make it really good, that's worth it. That's what we want to see from you. Catch me some more, Mark. <laughs> Bring me some to the restaurant. If they're fishing the fish in the morning and the night is in your plate. I think it's pretty amazing. That's really quality of life, but. I was really looking forward to seeing Ludo's take on all these different ingredients. To have somebody come in that didn't really have any idea or preconceived notions about those ingredients and see their spin on it, I was really excited. I never cooked that, I never cooked that before. And this one too. I kind of threw them some monkey wrenches, like the OP. That's a that's a pretty different ingredient. So you see, it's tough a little, it's tough, huh? Yeah, it's definitely a bit chewy. That was kind of how I was testing them. See how it go with that. So we're gonna do like a little escargot style. We're gonna cook them very, very slow. A little touch of garlic, so it's escargot butter. The Hawaiian escargot. Yeah, Bread crumbs. It was cool to see just how much passion he put into preparing it and really wanting to do it justice. That's delicious. It was the best OP I've ever had. Wow, that's that color. Are hey, you going to show me how to clean it? Yeah. Okay, there. Uh-huh. And then... Oh, nice. Wow. These were built to be eaten. Yeah, yeah, it's a premium of the juice here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's all the flavor here, yeah. right there. So, smell that. That's just like crab juice? Yeah, just, yeah. It smells like crab. It's pretty cool. Kimchi sauce. So, that is an inspiration for yesterday on the boat. <laughs> I was sick and the guys opened the kimchi thing. Oh, my God. Oh, the kimchi. Crab. The kimchi is still like, yeah. it's not overpowering for that delicate crab taste. It still tastes like crab, yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Oh. That's amazing, That's huh? so good. I'm going to put that on the menu. So the fish you catch, we're going to cook it exactly like the way we cook in, uh, in France. The cross of salt. We're oh. going to bake it. Okay. I've never had it that way. So is there just like a lot of salt in that dough? Yeah, flour okay. and salt. These are all things that are very close to my heart. It's things that I've been eating since I was a little kid. It's kind of comfort food. Okay, our fish is ready. That looks amazing. Yeah. So I'm gonna open back like these guys. Hoping it's cooked. So it's like bake and steam, you know? So like this, the, the fish get, get, stay very moist. And you're, you're really going to taste the flavor of the actual fish itself because exactly. there's not a lot yeah, of stuff drowning it out. Huh? But right when you open that, I could really smell the fish. It's like it's a distinctly seafood. Chef Ma. Thank you. Your fish. Merci. That's your fish, bro. Oh! If only this fish knew how good it tasted. So I'm going to do a French technique, how we cook the lobster. We're going to do, we're going to do a hole in the head here. You might need Mark's spear gun to just... Yeah. <laughs> chef's mallet. It's like killing a vampire. There we go. Yeah. Just for you, Mark, I'm going to use the Hawaiian salt. He made that, that little chimney out of the lobster head and started putting the butter in there. It really dispersed the flavor of that garlic butter all through the meat. It's really to incorporate the butter in the lobster. Chef Ludo is using all the local produce and just creating some delicious things. I get this local pineapple, man, by some local. Look, it's beautiful. This honey is so good. Is that from here? Yeah, it's so good, man. You're just making me hungry. We're going to caramelize the pineapple. So that was just honey and... Honey, honey, that's it. 
How do you tell when it's cooked? You don't tell when it's how cooked. You can, you know, how you tell? <laughs> how do you know it's a good way? Now comes the messy part. Everything he made really worked well with the flavor of the main ingredient. And he hadn't even tasted the main ingredients before. He kind of read and, and just off of how I described them, found a good way to, to prepare it. Lobster and pineapple together, okay? Sweet and savory. Everything was from the island. The honey, the pineapple, the lobster. I think chef now, restaurant, restaurant, we need to be responsible about where we bring our stuff. You know, and not using too much things from far away or whatever. You know, it's really to cook with what we find around us. And it's probably you know interesting I mean? to you because it's more yeah. challenging yeah. as well. Yeah, right? yeah, definitely, yeah. It's yeah. like the difference between you know? paddling big waves and towing big waves. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. Anybody can tow in, anybody can order ingredients yeah. from far away places, uh -huh. but to do it right in the place you're at, it's a lot more difficult, I'm sure. When he prepared these dishes and served them to us, he's like, Remember, I saw you eating kimchi on the boat, so made this kimchi crab. He incorporated everything that happened during the, the whole journey to get the ingredients. So not only was it things that really worked with the flavor of the main ingredients, it kind of like told the story of our trip as well. That's how you know like the difference between a normal chef and a chef of his caliber. When I go surfing, I'm so exhausted. I have a like 20 times. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not in shape. It's yeah. a little more than um, huh? fishing. Fishing, you just kind of sit there. <laughs> My job is about cooking. You know, it's really to spend time with people and learn, learn and learn from people and get some idea. It's pretty good exercise too. Uh, yeah. But you know what they say: never trust a skinny chef. So you can't <laughs> get too fit. It was really fun to have Steph, Reef, and Chef Ludo over here because I got to kind of bring them along for the ride. It was really cool to be able to share that with them. There was definitely a common thread between all of us. It's a similar thing. It's just that passion for surfing and, and the ocean and seeing the different avenues that you can go down and continue that lifestyle back onto the land. I would love to be a surfer, you know, so definitely. I think it's cool. I have so much respect for these guys and I learned from them their philosophy of life, eating, you know, to be in contact with all these things, nature, people, ingredients, you know. So guys need to see what they do, these guys, it's pretty amazing.